So today, we're gonna try to trim his hair a little bit. Here's why. He has really bad, like, cradle cap. And, you know, I'll get a, cl a little close up later so you can see how bad it is, like, once I actually trim it. Um, and I think trimming his hair is gonna help me deal with it better. Also, his hair is like falling out a lot. And I'm thinking it's because of that too. And just so we don't have so much hair all over the place. Um, like when he sleeps, he leaves a lot of hair behind. And so just to kind of minimize that, I also want to trim his hair for that reason. And also his hair is just patchy everywhere because, you know, like it's falling in random places. So um, I want to trim it. We'll see if he lets me. I want to do this little machine that I have here. We'll see how much it cuts. It's very gentle, it's not gonna do anything um, other than just cut his hair a little bit and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to do it like this, like holding him. Oh. <laughs> he just ate. Um, we'll see how he handles it. I want him to get used to the noise first. I'm not actually cutting anything yet, I'm just doing like a motion so we can feel it in his head. Show you how bad his cradle cap is and this is why one of the reasons why i wanted to do this so i can actually see it and i can like you know deal with it let me show you so look at how bad it is up here at the top you kind of notice how bad it is but we are going to take care of that we're gonna actually i can do it with you guys here we're gonna put some oil and I have some coconut oil that I'm gonna melt and I'll put it on his head and then at nighttime, I'm gonna shower him. Maybe at nighttime, maybe I'll do it after a few hours. Um, so the oil is gonna help just kind of loosen that up. And then with a little brush, we're gonna just brush it off and see how much I can get out. So I'm only gonna, I'm gonna be taking out as much as I can but if there are like rough spots, we're just gonna keep doing it every other day. So he gets a little break too from, from that annoying oil, right? Oh, but he looks so cute. I love that I did this. I don't regret it at all. I love it. So let's put some oil. Okay, so I melted some oil here. I know you can use like different types of oil. Um, I honestly always use baby oil. Uh, but then I read that coconut oil was like good as well, so I wanted to try it. So that's why I'm trying coconut oil right now. But I know that there was another one. I think avocado oil was another one. But yeah, so let's do this. Okay, there you go. You're gonna help me there. Yeah, this is so much easier to actually get into. Nice job, Papa. 
Nice job, Papa. You did so well. With everything, you did so well. Okay, so I'm going to save that oil for later. In case it dries out, I'm just going to apply a little more. But right now, I think baby's tired. So I'm going to make him go to sleep for a little bit. And then when he wakes up, we'll do the bath. And I'll show you how, how it looks. I know you're tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His scalp looks so much better, and the rest I think I'm gonna get it out when I'm bathing him. see how it looks after the bath it looks so much better <laughs> final look after it's all dried yay and that is it for this video i really hope you guys liked it and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye bye